And welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes, where we are going to, in Plots. today's free time, you guys are going to actually get Plots. plot for once, because I fucking grinded. I got Thank five... You. Five, uh, probably, yeah, someone. There's two people that There's will want to talk to us. Hey, professor, got a minute? No. We're on our way to plot. <laughs> I'm sorry I snapped it. But, um. I didn't mean to lose my temper. I got I was five mithril? Or, oh, nice! I never in my life gotten that much in this game, so I was like, I, I might be able to make the sword that, like, I've never been able to make in this Hell fucking yeah. game. Huh, I thought you might say that. Don't sparkle on me. You're so that pious and better. Like <laughs> How dare you be so wonderful? No, it's not that I'm wonderful. It's just that I don't fucking care, Leonie. I mean, like, I'm well, super... Kid, I I'm a blank slate. slate. I have no I feelings one way or the other. <laughs> she's like, ah. She's like, maybe Gerald wasn't a good father. <laughs> yeah, he might have been a good teacher, but he wasn't a great father. Huh. Maybe he left you with a relative or something. He left me with the mercenaries anyway, to watch out for. Job was to deal with She's not even sure about it. She's just like, uh, what is my timeline? Nobody in the village could stand up to them. But your dad, he took them on like it was nothing. I was so, so she never actually trained under him. Amazing mercenaries were. She just really liked him. So to me, and that's where it's like teams need to talk to each other. Because I think there's another thing in support conversation somewhere that it was like, you guys didn't communicate, did you? Around long after that. But he did it might have actually just been an awakening that I'm thinking of. There was one vast. Oh yeah, it was oh, Lucena. Yeah, yeah, it was a vast oversight and like Crom and her. Everything from my father. I didn't leave. I didn't learn anything from my father in like yeah. the cutscene. It was like, huh? Or no, I think she said she learned everything from her father in the cutscene, and, and then, then in the, like, the support conversation, she's like, you were dead. <laughs> so I yeah. didn't learn anything from you, and I was like, but you, huh? Yeah. That was definitely a. Uh, I always huh. planned to meet well. him. Once I became a top tier mercenary, but I'm just glad I got to see him, to thank him properly and all. I've spent my whole life working to become a great mercenary like your father. There were so many times when I wanted to ask his advice, but I couldn't. I just. I think they're a little bit better about that in this game. There's just this still just work, extreme confusion on timeline and yeah. people's ages for me, but it's whatever. Like it's a video game. That's where it boils down to for me. I mean, honestly, Leonie's like, what, two years younger than us? So it Theoretically, is... we don't actually really know how old Byleth is. That's fair. But I mean, it is highly possible that Byleth could have been off with some other mercenaries while Geralt was over there doing that thing. Or a child so... and taken care of, left behind briefly. Yeah. yeah. Casper? I think that was the second one, yeah. Yeah, there we go. There he is. The next day. Remember when I said plot? Yeah, I'm sorry. We'll get there. That was only two Professor, minutes. What's going on? I was here at night in this different scenery. A suspicious man. Where? Oh, is that him? I'm gonna go punch his face in. Same fucking voice actor as Lawrence. What do you think he's up to? Never mind that. Let's get him. I was like, that's a range, bro. Yeah, yeah, okay. Why not? We can figure out what he's up to after we capture him. That's not my quite. Instincts tell me that he's up to no good, and my instincts are never wrong. Come on, let's get him before he has a chance to strike. Huh? Huh? It leads to the plaza where the kids play. He's There's just no picking up his kid. This guy get anywhere near those kids. Yeah, I remember because, like, this guy voices someone else in, like, Indivisible. And it, he definitely does the Lauren's voice. I was like, wait, is that the same? <laughs> and so I looked it up, and then it we also listed for Casper. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I had no idea. I am not seeking excuses from you. I asked because I want you to consider your actions and apologize for them. It just so happens that you were correct in your assumption that this man was a villain. That were not so. <laughs> I'm gonna just go around. You're a villain. <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> no one says villain. A guy was bad. <laughs> yeah, right. He was evil. Because of your actions, that is all we know. There is no way for us to know who he was, what he was planning to do, or if he has allies lurking about. The only lead we have is a scorpion tattooed on his arm. Oh no. 
if this indicates that he was a member of an underground That's a good subreddit, full scorpion. <laughs> When somebody uh, <laughs> it somehow bends backwards that their like feet touch the head. Oh, what? <laughs> Full scorpion. Okay. <laughs> it looks like a scorpion. Huh. <laughs> like a scorpion tail with your feet. And people fall like that a lot, turns out. Like, and you're not like necessarily hurt, but like the body likes doing a backwards C sometimes. Interesting. Yeah. Uh oh, I couldn't possibly. They're like, no, 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 my no, dear this lady. The, this is on the child. We didn't do anything wrong. Shut the fuck I mean, up. You kind of didn't, but at the same time, the knight has a point. You take him by the shoulders. Whoa! You glitched and then sprinted off. Yep. She takes him by the shoulders and is like, fucking, I don't know, man. Just <laughs> <laughs> walks away. He's just like, huh? Yeah, he's like, I'm even more confused. His birthday is this. Like Scythia's dude, birthday friends. No, fuck oh. that. That wastes time. <laughs> I used to have a hundred k, and I spent money on everything. Oh, nice. You got my things. <laughs> <laughs> got my stuff that I wasn't sure it was gonna get. So All next right. time we'll do two twenty-seven. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, I should just figure out what his birthday is and do it the same day. Oh, that's Exchange <laughs> gifts, yeah. <laughs> it's like or whoever we do next, I'll do the same fucking thing. It's like me and my former yeah. boss be like, "Happy birthday, happy birthday." <laughs> and then the coworker that he was talking to that was like, "Happy birthday!" I didn't realize it was both your guys' birthdays. <laughs> and we we're just like, "Yeah." Thank you for saying happy birthday. And he was just like, oh, God. <laughs> it was so funny. Because <laughs> he was just like, so like, oh, fuck. Because <laughs> I was like the, uh, oh, fuck. The, like the warehouse manager and then me and he and I have always had like a bit of like a button heads thing. And it's just kind of like, it was funny as shit. <laughs> You're going to receive the goddess's revelation at the holy tomb? That's news to me. I did not see that coming. It's Maybe it's been the mission for the whole month, idiot. I right? You just heard about it? Maybe they didn't realize it was Byleth. Yeah. I don't know. If I was there when Byleth got her hair changed colors, I'd be like, it doesn't really seem like a different person that'd be doing that. Yeah. That's some pious shit that happened. We'll have to take matters into our own hands. What do you think, Professor? Is it really okay for Lady Rhea to attend? She can hold her own. Leave it to our fearless leader to shrewdly factor in Rhea's fighting ability. You're bold, teacher. Like a flame's cut off on the well, left. She's like, I'm here prior to your class, remember? <laughs> and I had like a plot reason to join, so that's why I'm in all the class things. That's quite enough babbling, Claude. There is nobody more unfit for a holy ceremony than you. Um, Claude just puts his arm back, decks <laughs> fucking Lawrence in the nose. Yeah, he's just like goes to stretch and goes, oh, sorry, Lawrence. I didn't mean for you oh, to Oh, I forgot you there. were there. <laughs> I forgot there's a horse on her team. And he's like, oh. No, it is nothing. May we all see this through to the end. It still doesn't make sense. You're pretty fatalistic about this. Goddess was living inside Teach, right? Basically a kidnap. I mean, fair. Whatever. How could that be necessary anymore? There must be another objective. It's pointless to speculate about it now. We'll know the answer soon enough. There isn't any danger for us students, but be careful, Teach. If you say so. No. <laughs> this is the holy tomb. Yeah, we've been here. Yeah, my like twin times. hangs out here. She's like, huh? I tried to come by myself, it wouldn't even budge. To come in the elevator. Claude, why are you this trying to come here by yourself? <laughs> Dude really wants to find out about things. <laughs> he really does. And like, I was like such a huge enigma to him, and he's like, it's just driving me nuts. <laughs> well, it's like fucking. I tried to like find out. I was like doing like first time playing. I was like, here's some tea. You probably like fucking funny things. And he's like, it turns out I'm very business. <laughs> right. I was like, uh, Funny man is business. <laughs> Funny man <laughs> likes weapon. Funny man is leader. So long. I have waited so very long for this day. 
I want to know why those flowers she, aren't wilting. She fucking Flemish Spyla. Uh, we quickly changed. Yeah. We can't look like the goddess in this scene. It's like, remember your hair color changed? Yeah, right. And like, not because of an outfit. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you when you're distressed, Archbishop, but it seems some uninvited guests have arrived. They managed to operate the elevator. <laughs> Don't move. Anyway. Oh, teleport in. Move, Homie not. can just like bzz, bzz, around. What is Aaron Hansen so doing here? This, this guy? Yeah. Because <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> I was like, but he wall. never had like Aaron Hansen. Never fucking had like Leon Army. hair. Leon is okay, Kennedy. Yeah, no yeah. Fair. That's why. That, that's what longer. threw me off. Was that, huh? Hey, who is that standing next to the angry guy? Could and I saw be... the streak. I've the never noticed the streak before, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been allied with the Empire from the beginning. What are they doing here? What do they hope to gain? Isn't the Empire Edelgard's? There's only one goal for grave robbers like these. Yeah. Like Flame Emperor, you're here to steal the treasure that rests within the Holy Tomb. For a fool, you catch on quickly. Those crest stones will be ours. That infernal power, which is masquerading as a medicine but is truly a poison, will plague this world no longer. So imagine, like, the Black Eagles and her and everything. Oh, with, like, Empire people showing up. That's what I was thinking of is, Eligard must be pissed. Professor, destroy these villainous traitors who dare dishonor our creator. Whoa, tone it down there. Yeah, right, right. Don't worry, I'll cut Holy them down. Shit. Look at my we'll swords. We'll cut them down fast <laughs> this is my favorite one <laughs> the barking and the meowing it's all the same noises it is <laughs> has for long what? whisker i need to find that cat there's just a cat named gloucester regan tabby <laughs> dominic gray that one's so cute blaliad rex <laughs> they're all named after fucking like actual house names they are i wasn't expecting that i expected them to be like tabby sorry i got confusion because huh is only our class allowed to be in this okay no leave me lorenz <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> take lorenz uh, well they're less than what i'm used to Sorry, I'm trying. I've been trying to curate fucking Flane a little bit with us. Yeah, go for it. And there was someone else. Oh, it might have been Sylvain, but that's not as fucking needed. Okay. Because fucking um, you have. Yeah, that's why I'm like, whatever. Who should we? You know what? I'll just leave Lorenz with him. Who cares? For Claude. Yeah. Why don't we do? You could put Cyril on. Yeah, let's do Cyril. And then I'd I'll love give, to see their I'll give him to Lysithia. Lorenz and Lysithia? Yeah, yeah. I'm interested in that one, too. Because I hope... Have you seen their ending? <laughs> no. I actually barely have seen any of their support because I didn't make the connection until a little too late. Because I'm hoping their ending isn't that ending that our friend blurted out while he was very drunk at the party. Oh, I think I know which one. That one is. Okay, and it's not no. Lorenz. Okay, good. Because I don't want that to be my first list at the end. I will, I'll give you, when we <laughs> when we have a better scope of things, I can give you, uh, I'll give you an idea. Okay. Of if she, you know. Because now, now ending does with, happen. with Lorenz, you have a better idea on like, oh, okay. Okay. You know? Yeah. Like, like, now you know what her stakes are a little bit more. Uh, Raphael's battalion was not at full strength. Now there's was Claude's, I think. Yeah, I probably was fucking playing like a numb school because I'm like, whatever, fucking, I am invincible. <laughs> you are a millionaire. When I, that's how I play on casual. That's <laughs> I'm like, fair. fucking, I'm invincible. Who cares? Everyone's gonna come back. Whatever. So, book... Seven of uh, Sweden and three should have shown up today. Mm -hmm. So I can't. I'm excited to actually start reading. Oh my God! Sorry, I forgot about it. 
His face was so fucking consternated. <laughs> he just really wants to go home and take a giant dump. Yeah, whatever, my team's oh, fucking pee. What in the world I, bet. I might be able to class up a lot of people, too. Oh, hell yeah. After this. But anyway, continue. I Mostly, I'm just excited because I might... I, I just want to read Sweet Kid in 3. And I, then I'm the, excited about it, too, just because like it seems like it's going to be cool. And then at the next party, I can talk to... Uh, oh, fuck, what's her name? Sarah? Yeah. Yeah, about it. Oh. But yeah, no, once I'm done, I can totally let you borrow them if you want. I'd be interested in them, definitely. The hero is definitely Hugo. <laughs> because I read the back of one of them and it said something about Chris with the crest of with the, the true water rune, which makes sense. That's kind of what they wanted in the game because I mean who her father is and everything like that. But um but, you know, so Please. Hugo Hugo is definitely the uh the hero in the manga. Okay. That's interesting to know. Let's get to it. That's the one disappointment of it. I mean, like I said, it makes sense why. Yeah. They definitely were leaning that way even in the fucking in the game, yeah. yeah. Leone! You're so close to leveling up, I hope she does it. Cause then I can make her Falconite. Ooh. And then is, everything's super cool. Is she really almost at 30? Yeah, she's 29. Oh fuck, I thought she was 20. Maybe it's Hilt. Also, I did grind a little off camera. Right. It, they didn't really get that far. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, they didn't get that far that it was like amazing. But... I mean, they're so far ahead. Yeah. But they got enough. That it, but I was definitely a little frustrated that they weren't three. Leave it to me. Like, come on. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, at least it makes this easy. And Sylvain's like. I'll That's take a hit. I gave him like a speed. I spent all of my fucking like hit, hit the fucking like item Goddess shit. Icons and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I gave him, I think, some like evasion. And nice. he's still like, nah, I'm gonna get hit anyone. I'm like, the guy's on ramp. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Was that a note that their friendship. Oh, yeah, just annoy that guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you can't attack a fucking... My god, Byleth. Yeah, just fuck around. You're dead. <laughs> I love the no damage. Ebrathael is gonna get, like, even more insane. Dude, no one's been able to touch him for the last, like, ten missions. What you doing taking my crest stones? They're mine. Is enough. Do you even know what those stones are? He's he's like probably. Yeah, he's just <laughs> like, eh. Nah, I just like stealing. Thanks for stealing that because that means Marianne can take that from you. Marianne will absolutely wreck me. I need her to be levels. I forgot I have to fucking continue. I know. They they're not going to. They're absolutely not going to make it anywhere. I have people that can run like a thousand miles. Yeah. Stop it. And well, the thing is, they'll keep trying to get more crest stones too. So they won't like exactly retreat. Oh, okay. Let's stand here. Like they'll make their way to retreat, but just very casually. Well, they'll try and get more. I don't know if one is actually retreating or not, but... Typically, they'll try and get more. Okay. So, is it one of the things of, like, you can't really stop them from taking stones, or...? No! It, like, yes and no. They... Because, like, I can't be where they're getting... They're, they're already closer to stones than I am. Fair. So, they can get them, but you can get them back really easily. Okay. Hunter's fall. That's the one thing you can hold. And you can fucking go a million years. I'm not really worried about that fucking monster. You're super dead. So fucking dead. God. 
whatever, I guess you're punching him. Fucking. Wait, could you have gone? No. So, I also... He has, uh, now magic knuckles, because I was oh. fucking around the shit, and I was like, you know what? I'll fuck around. All and right. I did. He also has killer knuckles, too, because... <laughs> <laughs> Took care of that. This monster does not know what to think of that. Monster was like, huh? Dude, it's just knives. He's one single Wolverine claw. <laughs> and then... You know what? I'll kill you with him. First, I want to see how far Leone can go. You know oh, what? turns out you'll go kill him. And then I'll use Ignaz to kill the other guy. That's weird that Leone couldn't go further. I'm wondering if it's because this guy's kind of blocking her path a little. Fair. That's why it's like, well, I can't guarantee that you'll... <laughs> well, they'll definitely not get that crest stone back. <laughs> right. But I can't guarantee that she'll go further. Yeah. Past that guy, so I just look like, I'd rather, as well. I'd rather get the guy that can definitely hit him, regardless. Yeah. Whoa. If only I, I love how Ignaz is always like weapon. so alone, seeming because like Claude is the uh, is like the only other person. Well, not the only other person, but like the our, our other archer is Claude, and he's got a battalion, so he's always like backed up with people who are like yeah. And then there's Ignaz being like I'm all alone, but I'm still gonna shoot him. <laughs> right. So now I can do magic. Look at my crit rate, dude. Oh my god. Let's do this, because you have a better chance of critting. <laughs> Surprise, but not sad. Because I want to kill you with... Because you're going to be annoying. Might as well just take you down now yeah. with one hit. You lost to me? I'm worried about mages when it comes to fucking my... Ooh, hey. My Scythia will be okay. That one is but I'm worried more with, like, mages when it comes to, like, heavy units than even fucking, like, that huge monster against fucking my Scythia. Fair. Can't even hit her. She just fucking says, No! Bad! Sit down! Bad! And it's like, oh, what? I thought it couldn't move when it was. Uh, it kind of rolls over each turn, so oh. like it got like the ability to move again. Okay. And you know what? Let's kill it. Punch club. Boom. Get out of here. Didn't mean he kill her knuckles, dude. He just did it. <laughs> Hell, like, thanks, man. She's like, mm, yeah, I appreciate that. You know what might be? Mwah. Hey, Claude, can you shoot this thing? No. Nope. He's like, I can run two feet. Yeah, he's he's pretty far away. Dude, if I suffer him, this guy, I think he's dead. Yeah. Yeah. But I really want to give it to fucking Marianne. Yeah, so I'm going to fucking risk a little. Nice. <laughs> Watch her fucking Gloucester and then crit at the same time. Right. Like, super damage. Yes, now you can fucking be a master class. Hell yeah. That's actually kind of a rarity for me. Because she definitely, like, none of the characters are at this high level for me typically. Oh. At this point in the game. Oh, okay, okay. They, I've had characters be like, like Claude? By like the last time, like level fifty at the end of the game. Fuck. Hold on, I gotta get off my horse <laughs> to get up these stairs better. Does that change his stats at all in battle? Don't know. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. Mostly, if it did. Fair. Leone, can you kill this man for me? That'd be and swell. Gain enough experience to be a uh, fucking Falcon Knight, hopefully. Hell, Hell yeah, yeah, dog. Dude, we're gonna get some certifications up in here. Fuck yeah! Not, nope, still can't take it. <laughs> and you still are going to realm. not be able to do anything, but Byleth will be able to... At least draw fire. And I have magic equipped, so they're gonna have to do it further. I'm just gonna put fire on for funsies. 
Because it's just more powerful? Nah. I think Thunder is more powerful. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, my dick. Dick Sylvain. again. Yeah, whatever. He's a very strong unit, so it doesn't surprise me. Watch and learn. Oh, yeah, I also classed her up, so she, uh, flames, so she's in a different outfit, too. Oh, okay. Because she, uh, she's been hanging out a lot in her group for support links, and so she's just, like, power leveled. Okay. I think she's level 20 now. Nice. Predictable. You're gonna get fucking crit on, dude. When they don't do an immediate counterattack that chains in, like, a cool flip or something, okay. like that, that means Ooh. you're gonna get crit on. Her outfit is cute. It's super pretty. This is the first enemy that's actually hurt Byleth in a while. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna get my health back somehow. <laughs> Can you zoom in on Flame? Huh? Can you zoom in on Flame? Yeah. Er. Maybe not so much. No, it won't let me flip. Ow. But. <sighs> that is so cute. Yeah, it's pretty adorable. I also do love the mix of male and female. Oh, yeah. And these are the fucking, like, the Geralt mercenaries, too. Oh, hell yeah. So, like, that's why they look that way. Whereas, like, does Ignatz have anybody? Nope. And Leonie. I'm trying to get them to have people. That's why, like, these are more yellow and stuff. Because right. they're, like, uh, different knights. And okay. Yellow. And a lot and of mages. mages. Are they yellow because golden deer? Yeah. Okay. They like to stick in the color. I feel bad about the golden deer colors because they're, like... Uh, go. They're like barf yellow. Yeah. It's like it's a bad color, and he's just like all oh, by myself. <laughs> and do one of these numbers. Can't reach them. So I'll do one of these numbers and go. Hey, I don't like your attitude, bitch. He's gonna fire back at you, and you're gonna go. Ooh, <laughs> Kurt will flip. Yes. He was three away, so he couldn't do the uh, flip uh, or the shoot midair. Oh, yeah. The chain that does that. Yeah. I don't like what you're selling. I don't appreciate it. Should I have held back? No. Never hold back. A. Oh, you. <laughs> you were so offended. I was like, I'm already at A. Holy shit. Oh, fucking oh, neat. I actually cleaned up my storehouse for the first time in fucking history. Oh, hey. And it was... How many of those did you sell? A lot. So I'm glad to have more. Will more people show up? No. Okay. I'm just kind of moving for... Her. Oh, no. Go to Sylvain. He's a little McCurdy. Cause he... Yeah, you do. Because you keep getting hit by literally Everything. everything. I don't know where I want you to go. Can he just not go straight down the middle? Too? I really probably don't even need to move him. I just am. Be gone. Take that, motherfucker. Ooh, level 30. You're not going to go anywhere with it, though, because I'm going to keep you paladin. Because there's not really another, like, horse skill. Okay. Like, it goes immediately to, like, Great Knight, and I don't want him to be, like, a oh. heavy unit. Yeah. I'm going to go on this other side of the pillow to shoot at you. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch, because I probably should have I probably should have put on a fucking thing and I didn't. There he goes. He heard your call. And so he made Good. it go through his legs. Doesn't matter though, because I'm just gonna fucking do some good old fashioned sword. Stabby. Stabby stabby! Fuck that in Christ. That's late game crits. Yeah, imagine what's gonna be it's when I'm like level fifty, like and you can hit someone because you oh, have crazy yeah. range. I He's like, "Where'd that come from?" And sorry, I made it kind of like it was like. Sorry if you guys have seizures. Like it was oh, a yeah, little flashy. Yeah, it was a little bit. I need Sylvain to get up there so he can get on his horse again. Not that he's going to be doing anything, because everything's going to go for Byleth at this point. Yeah. 
He's still got pretty good um, movement on mounted. Yeah, he's not terrible with it. And I need you to kill this man because fuck him. That's Experience. Why. Yeah, just drop a fucking thing on his head. <laughs> his no her nose for Atu for him. Yeah, his, her nose for Atu would have killed him instantly, regardless. But I just wanted to be flashy. Eh, fair. Yeah, I think that. I don't really care. Yeah. They're not gonna get anywhere important. <laughs> I'm told it's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, how shall I cook you? <laughs> his face is so fucking like pure anime villain, right? What are this you gonna like, do? This is like one of the guys that would have a uh, book on the best like recipes for long pork. <laughs> Who would like keep track of like the recipes with like a smiley face and that kind of shit? Yeah, that's what that guy would. That's what that guy reminds me of. <laughs> I like that the mini bow is more powerful than the silver bow. Yeah, I'm actually. Oh, never mind. I was like more surprised that he can't just kill a guy, but the guy's fast because he's an assassin. Um. Uh... Just following orders. I just. Like he just got a little caramel in his hair. <laughs> I like how he's showing his death for so long. Like, cool, great, he's dead. Let's move on. I don't know why he does that, honestly. And now you are going to die, McDead. One person I did not wish to make an enemy of. Well, I would have joined if you didn't. weren't being so cynical. Yeah. Well, darn. That was so hard. Yay, Flane! Flane's like, I, I'm gonna be a real part of your team someday. No. <laughs> At this point, no, Flane. So, the end has come. Is this some sick joke? The Flame Emperor is actually Edelgard? <laughs> By the way! <laughs> <laughs> cool! Um, excuse me? <laughs> so remember when I was like, Edelgard would be pissed. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you remember why I have a little disdain for fucking Edelgard? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just more thinking, how does the logistics of this work when you're in the fucking Black Eagle's house? Cool. We're going to be done with the next two routes when? <laughs> I'm just like silently nodding for you guys. It's <laughs> you like are. audible yeah. here. Yeah. You have disappointed me, Edelgard. To think that a descendant of she House Heresmos would dare betray the Holy Church. If you do listen, though, Perfect. she does speak in the same, like, Kill cadences. Oh, does she? And yeah. Okay. You're like, oh, once I know now, it does kind of, like, I can kind of hear it. Okay. Like, the speech patterns. This heart cannot be allowed to keep beating. I have achieved my objective. I will retreat. Farewell, Professor. If we meet again, it will be on the battlefield. Come, Hubert. Edelgard, really quickly. Hey, what the fuck? One question. Uh, shit. To flee is futile, wicked girl. The Church of Saros. No wonder why she was talking to Monica. Well, no wonder, and they even give you a s s little idea when they're like, Fernand's like, they've been going in and out of the Empire a lot lately. Yeah. And humiliated your brethren. That crime. We'll Everyone's just like, oh, thank God we're in fucking Glendir right now. Right. So this is why I'm a little confused why the Come, fandom is so, like, yeah. <laughs> card. Next of I'm like, she's kind of literally the reason for the entire game. Not like, exactly and not in a good way. Right. I do have a few questions for her. No. Just a couple. Just a couple. Represent power. That means she knows how to use them. She almost certainly knows other secrets of Fodlin as well. Once things calm down a bit, there's a lot more that Rhea needs to tell us. Are you gonna back her into a corner and just demand it from her? Ray is not really forthcoming with information. <laughs> Even said it's like, what are you not telling me? Yeah. Let's hope I'm mistaken. So you get a straight up cutscene there, actually, with Dimitri. Instead. Oh, yeah, yeah, because he and Elgard are so like close. Well, way closer, yeah. To fulfill their true desire. To rule the world. They have fooled the people of Fodlin. Long ago, they divided the empire to create a kingdom. And then, 
divided that no, you want your kingdom your entire empire they did all back to make the masses bicker amongst themselves they caused instability in order to reinforce their own authority they gathered gold and lived in extravagance how by preying on the devotion of those who wished for the goddess's salvation Edelgard, have you ever heard of what a cult is before? You ever heard of what fucking this Nazis look like? It's kind of this. I, yeah, I was like, Edelgard, The coloring and everything, yeah. <laughs> How they're setting up shit, I'm like, oh. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little, um. Hmm. Edelgard von Hressfeld. The Empire hereby declares war on the Church of Ceres. I cannot believe it. Edelgard, what the Let fuck? The situation as it stands, <laughs> Professor. After so I'm like turn, trying to hold back my like fuck Edelgard. <laughs> no, I know very much that you do not like Edelgard. <laughs> now, I, and this is more the reason. Like, I can see why people like her, right? And like playing Black Eagles, I'm like, like she's not a terrible character, but, but fucking like, like I said, literally the reason for like everything yeah. in this game, and people are like, oh. She, but she's a bi option. I'm like, that doesn't make that her doesn't good. Fuck. No, yeah. just because someone's gay doesn't mean they're amazing. But also, her own father, also not fan of the church, so. I mean. Uh, okay. mm. she has deemed the church but I was definitely set up to hate her because of the, how I played the routes. The uh, yeah. I must discuss our response to this declaration with Every time I see someone be like, I started off with Black Eagles, I'm like, I'm like that's eh. the wrong choice. And now that I'm like, yeah, now you see you why that's the wrong choice. Yeah. Playing Black Eagles first. Because that's like, clearly you're going to get the most information in that one. Yeah. Well, the Emperor now. She really did it, didn't she? The Lords and Dukes of both the Kingdom and the Alliance have been called out and now have to choose between the Church and the Empire. The seed of conflict was always there. And now we find ourselves in the middle of a war that will tear Fodlin in two. The Empire is rash, but I never thought it would come to this. How could something like this happen? I hope well, everyone back home is safe. I'm sure it's mass. We said the same thing in 2016. I uh. sick about me. You're absolutely right, Teach. I'm sure a lot of us are worried about our homes, but. All we can do for now is prepare for battle and tread carefully. So, uh, Ferdinand, how do you feel about your one-sided rivalry with uh, Edelgard? I think he does have fucking things to say. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, good. I think he has I want, tea to spill. I want the fucking tea. <laughs> I mean, I think it does change in Black Eagle. He oh, okay. He says that slightly makes, different things, yeah. That makes sense. I think everybody has slightly changed. Well, depending. Fairly, yeah. Yeah. Together, the people of Fodlin relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. You want to hear about the month you're in? Here's the month you're in. Yeah, right. Never mind the fucking war. Yeah, never mind the events that just fucking happened. So, at least getting to that point, you're like, oh, okay. You know, now, like, yeah. that's no longer anything that will surprise you. You're going to be and... It's still... Wait. I'm not going to ask that on camera. I mean, there's other things that, like... Not all details, but that's a pretty major and basic plot point. Right. That, like, now at least you're safe from. Right. The thing is, is, like, even asking you my theories, you're not, you're still not always forthcoming with them. Yeah, so. I'll probably give you the... Mm. Yeah. Which was when mom was like, so I'm assuming this day is when we go to do our paint and sip thing. And I was just like... Mm. Mm. And she's like, oh, wait, no, that's that's in March. So that can't possibly be for my birthday. And I was like, I ain't telling you shit. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I Which totally is, but, you know, <laughs> she doesn't fucking listen to this. The fault is my own. I failed to see the wickedness within Edelgard's heart. I like how it skipped, like, two fucking weeks. That's right. Well, no, well, yeah, kind of. And then it also is just, like, a Wednesday. Yeah. It's not I mean, like a Friday where they normally give us a speech. They're like, right. ah, Wednesday's fine enough. There is no question on that front. She clearly wishes to conquer all of Fodlin. And in order to achieve her own selfish ambitions, she plotted with ill-meaning strangers and defiled the Holy Tomb. Or perhaps her ambitions are even grander than we know. 
Perhaps she is planning to make herself a false deity by demonizing the Church of Seros. Adrestia received its very name through a divine oracle. To injure the goddess is a sin most foul that shall not be forgiven nor forgotten. We Did we technically injure the goddess when we absorbed her? I have returned. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Well, we haven't, you know, re existed. So, no. If we did, I guess. If we decided to, like, yes, no, I also hate church. <laughs> She'd be like, you've injured the goddess. That is not enough time. It will require all of our efforts just to prepare our defenses. I'm a one-woman army, excuse you. Oh, right? We must order the residents of Garrick Mock to flee Like, just send lives. Byleth and Claude out and Sylvain out there. We'll be fine. Sylvain will absorb all the hits and fucking everybody else will fucking just crit yeah. to death. Yeah. And then pull Marianne out there just to heal Sylvain. If our Basically. enemy invades the monastery, I will have no choice but to stand upon the battlefield. If something happens to me, I am entrusting my sacred. How often do you think she does swap out those flowers? I don't know. Because or maybe they're just frankly, like maybe yeah, they're cloth. They maybe they're cloth flowers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. or mm. they're like flowers dipped in like I don't know tar or something. Except shit. they move. That's a thing. Oh fair. Yeah, they're not like fucking. Stiff. Yeah. So maybe they're just like cloth, cloth and wire. Would definitely makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. You must have guessed it by now. The truth of who you are. Perhaps I should say, your lost memories are surely beginning to return. Huh? I've acted all these long years as a mere proxy for you. But the duty is yours, and yours alone. Only you can lead the people of Fodlin. I think they move at least. I don't know, she doesn't whip around enough for me to go, yes, cloth. Right. But I thought I saw the move one, like, a Rhea, second ago. Please. You must tell me all that you know. I beg He's like, what the fuck? Yeah, he's just like, Rhea, for fuck's sake. That one is the progenitor god. Am I correct? In a sense. Our dear professor is a vessel. One who carries the power of the progenitor god within. In so Byleth is Robin. Will become one with the power contained yeah, except not evil. Okay. God shall return to this I mean, Fire Emblem likes doing this kind of shit. That's true. I trust that you are aware of Basically, like, no one carried fucking... I can't remember their names, but fucking... Fates. The, no, not Fates, but fucking in, like, Path of Rains or any Dawn, trapped inside the medallion. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Shura and Yuna, or whatever. And hoping for the moment when our creator rules this wayward land once more. Your fleshy meatbags are really tough. <laughs> Thank you. Lady Rhea, brother, I will do my part as well. <laughs> Regardless, I am glad to hear it. You like, what the like, fuck? But whatever. Yeah, Flan's like, I'm totally not gonna go tell the professor about all of this. Right. Well, I just have fucking, you know. And you as well. I don't know, like, I don't remember what that term is, but I just, I get to know everything as a professor oh, anyway, yeah. Yeah. And since the professor is essentially a blank slate, like, literally knows everything we know. Yeah. Oh god, what is that term? I don't remember. Yeah, I f forever forget, dude. Yeah, I know there's a sp very specific term for it, oh but Oh my god, it fucking didn't make me go through another thing. Moral story is, wow. This is good to <laughs> fucking good place to stop. Yes, it is. See how I'm like we got finished at like 30 and then it was like you like cut scenes. So anyway, Edelgard, what the fuck? Edelgard, what the fuck? Okay. We'll find out more next time. Yeah. So until then, bye.